clothing haul. I went to the charity shop. I don't know if I mentioned in the video that I've been to the charity shop. And uh, when I got there, there weren't much for me, really. But she said, uh, clothing sale. I'm starting a clothing sale. She says, a pound for normal items and two pound for coats. So I got two bagfuls. And what did I pay? £21? Something like that. Yeah, so I'll show you what I got. I'll just hang them all up. Makes it makes it a bit easier. So I've got this one, which is a uh, liquor and poker uh, creased, creased, checked denim skirt. Yeah, it's got on its button. So that's all right. That's a size twenty-two, roughly. So can't go wrong for a pound. I don't suppose. Uh, this one is a next size 10. It's a lovely coat, this. Yeah, lovely. Can you see the... I don't know if you can see the... Oh, that's better. Yeah, so that's nice. Not big enough for me, though, unfortunately. Um... This coat I'm a bit disappointed with because I've tried it on and it almost fits me. <laughs> uh, it's Planet. I used to always love Planet clothes. Uh, dead comfy. Just seems to be my shape and stuff. And um, there's a suit in here I tried on because it said 14. And I can't get in the skirt. Um, so, yeah, this is slightly big, but I think it would be quite warm and cosy. So it's got a little bit of a... What can we? Not sure if it's a storage smell or a smoky smell or whatever. Uh, so I might pay to have it cleaned that one and then try it on again myself. Yeah. So for two pound, it's worth paying out to have it cleaned. I think. Um, red jacket, wool. Um, well, it feels like wool. Alexon size sixteen. Uh, yeah, 78% wool. Like a box, boxy jacket. That's fluff. Yeah. Double-breasted box jacket. Nice. I don't know what style you call that colour. Yeah. Nice. Um, this one is... Collezione, size 14. It's like a three-quarter wool jacket. Oh, I don't know. Is it a coat? Look at length. Uh, yeah, longer jacket, I suppose. I'm presuming it's wool. Label. 45% wool polyester and 20% cotton. Just put them here so I'm not turning around all the time for you. Uh, this one, W. Uh, Debenhams, is it? Where's the W from? Primark? Don't know. Oh, BHS. BHS, it's got a nice feel. Lovely feel to it, that coat. Uh, what size? Medium. Medium. It's lovely. Like a short mac. Oh, there's a pin in that. That makes me think that that belt was pinned and nobody's worn it. But yeah, it's lovely. Put that pin there for stab myself. Yeah, grey jacket. This is the suit. It's the frayed edge, and I thought well, it's just my colour that with the blue. Really nice jacket fits, lovely skirt. Nah, it won't go over my backside. Yeah, <laughs> the skirt's here fourteen as well. Uh, yeah, so. Oh dear, I must stop having so many crisps with me bottle of wine. I mean, drink a glass of wine. <laughs> this cardigan I've got for me really. I just like the pattern. 
Uh, it also probably be taking belt loops off. It's all a bit fancy, but yeah, quite like that for a change. So worth getting for a quid, as long as there's no wool in it. And then this is a nice coat. This is a Miss Selfridge uh, UK 12, like a camel colour. Really nice camel colour. Uh, I can't find material. No. Anyway, lovely. Is it cashmere? Hold on. <laughs> Polyester viscose and elastin, and it's got a very lovely uh, cashmere feel to it. Nice three quarter uh, camel coat. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. Morning, all. I think it's. Friday, yeah, it's Friday. Oh, nearly Christmas, and I nearly dropped my phone then. Uh, oh, this light's good for chins, isn't it? Um, I've not been around for a bit because I've been satisfying my new obsession, <laughs> which is the nails. I'm doing the nail channel, so I'll just show you the state of my um, kitchen. I have just videoed for you a clothing haul that I got from the charity shop so i'll show you that and i'll see if i can stick in one of the jewelry locks as well because to be honest i've not had that much else to vlog about but i'll show you it stay to this table and go <laughs> we're we've got christmas tree uh washing tree and then this lot yeah so this is where Phil's extended middle at table for me to clip that on. And I sat here till one o'clock last night. And uh, that's all yesterday's uh, bags of cheese and onion crisps. <laughs> and then um, it was um, last night till one o'clock doing these, which I uh, was doing a video for. And then I did... Uh, a few of them yesterday and I've just done reindeer this morning and it's now 10 o'clock and I've got a load of horrible packaging to do like uh, mirror and pictures and all sorts so yeah this is what I've been up to uh, if you've not popped over and you're remotely interested in how I'm doing this lot or what I'm doing on my new venture um, it's just it's inspired it's called Sue's Nails so I'll put a link underneath Right, I said it. I've been building up to that. I'm not really good at self-promotion, but there you are. Right, um, cracking on. So this is what's going out today. You can see how big it is, the size of my table. So I've already put my masking tape over it. And uh, I'm not quite sure what career I'm going to use, to be honest. I think I'll have to go into Parcel to go and have a look. Uh, I was hoping somebody would collect it, but I think it's down south, so... I can't deliver it. I still have to get it done. Right. <sighs> I'm going to put some corners on. Uh, cardboard over the front. Well, you've seen me do it. Right, I'll get on. Hello. Long time no see. Hope you've all had a lovely Christmas. As much as you could do if you could get to meet up anyway. Um, or just had a chilling one. And uh, we have. We've just really been chilling. And... Um, films and chocolates and just the norm uh, but i just wanted to check in with you and say thank you for i got a card off peter ray thank you very much one off becca and one off carla thank you and i've got another card uh which i think has been made it handmade it's lovely it's covered in beads i've got a beaded christmas tree uh, and that's from joan morris thank you very much sweetheart it's, um, thank you for all your lovely vlogs. Fabulous vlogs. <laughs> so, thank you, Joan and family, for that one. Um, Presents-wise, Lex sent me some um We've got blackcurrant and apple. Uh, and also some chockies, which look absolutely amazing. I've just fetched them down now to show you, because I had them away, these. Uh, Vissa, they're called. Visa Chocolade Deluxe Collection and they're like hand painted. They're lovely. 
So I'm saving them for when I'm savouring having a chocolate instead of gorging on them. Um, thank you ever so much to Ania, um, Double Karma, for, you'll know her from all chats. Uh, and she sent me a lovely little present. I've got, um, I'm saying little, there's three of them. Um, nostalgic, nostalgic Santa Danish cookies. Wouldn't love a Danish cookie. Thank you. Some shortbread biscuits. Both in nice handy tins. And there was also a box of uh, milk tray which lasted about seven seconds when we opened them. <laughs> so thank you ever so much. Uh, everybody that sent me something through and um, I'll show you what I'm up to now. Right, so I'll start with this lot that's got some boxes in. Um, small selection of costume jewellery including imitation pearl bead necklaces, more pearls, uh, pearl necklaces, drop earrings etc. This has only cost me £8 or so £10.40 for this bag. So it's... Uh, Got all these boxes in it, so set the to shot and I'll pull them out and we'll see what we've got. I've not been doing any eBay related um, vlogs really because I've not really been doing eBay. I've, uh, I've had a couple of weeks off. I think I was a bit burnt out and I needed. Um, I needed to chill a bit really. So this is F. Heinz. It says on the box. Um, oh, right, so we've got a set of here. Wow. Isn't that pretty? That's only glass, they're only rhinestones. But it's really pretty, that. Isn't There's no name on it at all. Um, so there's the chain, a ring. Oh, that's quite big. Goodness me, that is big. That even goes on my middle finger and I've got really big fingers at the side of some people. Oh, gosh, it didn't even fit me. Didn't go on that hand. Yeah. Mm. It's like a topaz colour. And then, oh, this matches as well. No, that doesn't, but these do. Earrings. Oh, so that's lovely. And I've forgotten the name of it when you get all three. Oh, I can look it up. Yeah, that's pretty. Pretty little set. There is no name. I mean, it's not silver or anything, it's just. Just costume jewellery, but hmm. So we might get the tender back on that for a start. So that's not bad going. That's not bad going. I do love sparkly, but I don't wear things like that. But yeah, and this one. Oh, these are beautiful. These are like a like a ruby coloured shell. You know, like abalone glistens. But it's pinky red. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, no name, but pretty that. Oops, right way around that looks. Yeah. Ooh. I might have to keep that, it might inspire some nails. <laughs> my new obsession have I mentioned it um, accessory crossing oh gosh that's bold bold on cord and post earrings to not think that that's come out of that box. Yeah. Pretty. Co 
old enamel, some other two. Matching set. I love getting these boxes out because I've got absolutely no idea what's in them. Possibly nothing like that one. <laughs> or that one. Another F hands. Oh, I've not brought my loop downstairs. What's that? Oh, it's a stone in the middle. It's tarnished like silver. Mm, no markings. Oh, I've got a, got a magnifying glass here. Hold on. Silver tone, a bit pretty, and just like little charms. So I just use this box to put odd things in. It's a good test, isn't it? Whether I can pick anything up. Two of the same, so they're probably off earrings. Uh, and one. One there. So I'll keep that as my little augments box for a minute. Love forever. Direct. Love forever. Direct. Uh, illusions. So whoever had these, this lady liked matching, matching things. I've got dangly flowers. And that. I have to look at this in better light. See whether it's alright or not. I'm not sure if that's a mark that'll come off or if it's a such a rust mark, but I don't think don't think that's gonna be any good. No. Don't think that's gonna be any good that one. You can't win them all. Excuse my arm. Uh, dig in the bottom. Okay, so it's uh, two studs and a wired that don't actually all seem to go together. Right, love that. You've got your red studs there, and those might be a necklace in here somewhere that goes with that. Oh, that's embroidered. Crikey. It's a really aged uh, clasp on it. It is working. But that is a... sort of plastic cover on it but it's needlework how pretty little crinoline lady don't so you like that something in this one a pair of earrings it says country house jewelers on it but some sort of tiger's eye effect stone Sorry, if there's a jump there, it's because I made a big noise and I have to edit it out. Um, oh, they're nice hoops. They're different. They're like stirrup hoops. Gold tone. With... Amber coloured stones in. And they just click. Oh, seriously, gonna have to go to hairdresser. Hairdressers! Opticians. Yeah, hairdressers is another one. That must be a Freudian slip. Can't see any markings in it. 
looking for a maker proper gold colour that no hmm it's been gold plated I think at some point but what a lovely shape uh, clip on so it's all oddments so far That's it. Put them in the magnets box. Another lid. Avon. Oh. oh. And our gate. Because the they're very different. A very silver coloured edge. They're not silver, but I'm sure they're not. Sure they're not. Let's have a look. Hmm. No. I don't mean that bit. I mean the ed the edging around it. Might be this light, but they're very pretty, uh, and the matching, matching pendant. I think I'll probably clean them up with some silver polish anyway. Hmm. Yeah, and he definitely likes sets. It feels a bit weird doing a, a video, to be fair. Uh, just a pair of studs. Sorry if it appears that half of this is missing, because if it, if it is, it, it means I kept going out of frame. Wired necklace. I bloomin' hate these. I hate these wires with passion. Um, goodness me. Awful. So that box is trash, really. And the box is trash. But I've got a nice brooch. I've got two or three uh, matching sets. That's pretty. Painted, they got all its stones. Yeah, oh, I like that. Hmm. I don't think it's no, it's definitely bracelet. I wondered if it might be ankle at first. What's this attached to? Very Art Deco style red. It's got a lovely droplet. Hmm, nice. Pearls or faux pearls. Not vintage or anything. I think I'm getting to Pearl's age. I've actually probably got a house full of pearls now. Some of these, uh, if like the black one, I'll probably just bin it. The others might go into uh, some job lots uh, that I've started. I think I showed you that in the last video. Pretty chain. 
this little tune here. These are M&S, I think. Yeah. That one is different anyway. And a pair of earrings. What's that? Gold. Is that silver or gold? God, this light's terrible. It's really yellow. Hold on. Let's see if I can change it. Uh, what's this? Oh no. Right, yeah, now I can see it's silver. Or silver tone. And a quite rusty um, tooth thing. Yeah. So, oh. Two more bits. Alright, so I've got the other one to that pair of earrings that can go in a clip. A clip what? Uh, not very anybody in particular. And another odd odd earring. Oh no, pair. Another pair. So a few bits for job lots. So that was all that lot for a tenner. It's New Year's Day, 1st of January 2021 and uh, I just wanted to wish you all a Happy New Year. I hope um, things pick up for most of us and if we've, only, if we've got through unscathed apart from a few more grey hairs then I think we've done well. And um, spring's coming, it'll not be long before, if we can't get out really far, at least we can get outside most of us anyway. And uh, I don't do New Year's resolutions, but I, for one, I'm going to try and get a bit more work done. But I, I say that every day. <laughs> I tried filming this about three times. It all got a bit. <sighs> so, so I thought, no, scrap that. I don't know what I'm saying. So I just want to say thank you ever so much for anybody who has uh, stuck with me. Um, kept watching for all your lovely, lovely comments. And um, keeping my spirits up when uh, I've been heading for doldrums. Technology's meant that I could get in touch and we've got, I've built some close friends as well. From doing YouTube and eBay. And um, so, Happy New Year to you all. Thank you all for watching again as usual. And I love you loads. I'll see you soon. Bye.